This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Here we go. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. <laughs> if my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. Well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you aren't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. She's not wrong. <laughs> What's that thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? Nah, that's not it. Alright! <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, Prince Dobler, thank you for the 1,000 bits, dude. Seriously. I know where the crystal heart is here. And if you go forward in the in the uh, mission too far, then you can't get it. There's a little trick you can do here. And it's really, really cool. There. The dash the dash refreshes when you transition screens. So if you can so you can use that trick to climb up this wall on the outside before even starting the, the stage proper. And here we go. <laughs> Crystal heart number two. And I was gonna say, who put a... Who put a freaking cat over me? What was that? Where'd that cat icon come from? Is there something up there? Yes, there is. Oh, I remember this. Okay, this is a cool track. Look at that. <laughs> Bombing up here was tough. Totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many great picks. Wanna see? Oh, sure. Theo, these are great! Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these. Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy! Like this! <laughs> but, if we go in here, we can unlock something. Check this out. This is a little mini game of Celeste called Pico 8. Look at this. I like to think that this was like some sort of beta that the that uh, they established uh, in the uh, during Celeste's development, maybe. <laughs> Woo! Easy peasy. Yeah, and then that happened. How many the people know what a cassette tape is? Come on. Then again, I don't know, maybe. I'm like, I'm a 30-year-old man at this point, so I actually know what a cassette tape is. Okay, don't be afraid to dash. Don't be stupid with your dashes. Yipe! So, what I gotta do here is... <laughs> I love that 
Shrek. Uh, now that the level... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. My most prized possession, gaming-wise? Hmm. Let me look around. I'll be right back. So I have a couple of examples. Um, one of them actually is these. So, Rodrigo Miniman, you guys might might have seen his name pop up uh, on my Twitter every now and again. But uh, he sent me, and uh, he also sent a collection for John, for Comic Foil, um, these Fire Emblem Cypher cards. Like, Japanese, like, uh, the Japanese Fire Emblem Cypher cards that he sent to us, uh, via the mail, and, like, that was a really, really cool thing. Um, he even got me this, like, apparently this is a limited edition Lin card for Fire Emblem Cypher. Um, so, that was really, really nice. But, um, another one is right here. Check this out. So, this is a clock. Um, a standee of, um, the Majora's Mask setting. So you got the four, uh, mask forms there, uh, as well as the moon. And, like, it's a standee, so it kind of looks like this. So it has a little bit of a 3D effect, uh, which is really, really sick. This is a really, really good... This is one of my favorite things that I ever got, um, from a convention. But another thing that I really, really enjoy having is, um, these right here. So... So these are uh, the Reaper guns, right? Uh, they're a little small, but um, they're basically Reaper gun replicas, and check it out. I got them signed, or one of them was signed by Dante Bosco. So, because uh, he really likes signing props, apparently. So, um, I got these over here whenever I cosplay, whenever I want to cosplay as Reaper for real. I never got around to it, but <clears throat> here we go. This thing right here. This is a replica of 2B's sword. Like, full on. Uh, a replica of 2B's sword from Nier Automata. And the blade's real. Um, this is actually a, a straight up, like, sharp blade. So yeah, there you go. That's another thing. So this was this is another gift that was sent to me. This was courtesy of Elise, actually. I I uh, showcased this on my top ten um, on my top ten Beastmasters video, but you guys might remember this. Uh, this Elise sent me this uh, little thing of um, of uh, Hani from Octopath Traveler with the request to do top ten Beastmasters. So I couldn't resist that. So this was really really nice to get. If you held me down. If you held me down and asked me, like, to just pinpoint the thing that is my most prized thing that I've ever gotten video game related, it would be the, it would be the very, very, very first thing that I ever got from a convention that really meant something. Right here. This is, um, this is a poster autographed by Charles Martinet. Uh, you guys might know Charles Martinet as the voice of Mario and company. Uh, th this was the very, very, very first autograph that I ever got at a convention. Uh, and it was, and it was Charles Martinet. And it was great, because, like, he, he's such a friendly dude. He's so, like, humble. He's, like, very, very proud of what he does, but at the same time, he's, like, you know, very thankful of how, of, like, wh where he is as a result of this. I got to meet him. I got to speak with him for a little bit. And, yeah, he gave me this, like, um, it was really cool. Like, it was such a blast to actually meet the guy. So, yeah, uh, if, if, you, if you ask me what my most prized possession in regards to something video game related, it would be this. It would be, um, I got this framed and everything, just, I highly doubt he's watching this, I highly doubt, like, you'll be seeing this dude, but Charles Martinet, you are a treasure to the video game company, or to the video game industry, I cannot express that enough. Did I mess this up? Did I miss my chance at the Crystal Heart? I think I might have. No, I think, no, I think I'm gonna. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ah, oh, frick. Why did I do that? I hope I didn't mess this up. Now, this is dumb. Okay, so, 
This is dumb. Just gonna say right now. So, the crystal heart is all the way up there, right? Now, we can't get- we can't get this. Like, there's no way we can, like, wall jump anywhere nearby to get up and dash up there. But yeah, Jalari, exactly. This is a reference. And it's dumb. It's absolutely dumb. So, what you gotta do is stand on this, on this block, which is absolutely, apparently, a Super Mario Bros. 3 reference, and hold down. And suddenly you're in the background. That's how you get this crystal heart, and it's dumb. How did you know we start moving again? Oh, I totally thought we were done for. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Look at this selfie, though. <laughs> now you're just showing off. <laughs> I'm a streamer, Theo! What do you expect? You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. I thought you'd never ask. Cute. Cute. I really like this image. It's okay to be scared. This, we can dodge, to, we can uh, dash twice. We actually did it! I can't believe it! Wow! It's so beautiful! Look how far we've come! I'm glad I got to see this before I... Well, before I... Oh, right. When we leave the mountain, you won't be able to talk to me anymore. At least, not like this. Yeah... I know that we need to go home eventually. But it'll be scary to lose this body. You'll still exist, though. You were part of me before we came here. Yeah, I know. But I'm gonna have to depend on you to listen to me. Even if I can't talk to you in person anymore. I just can't go back to how it was before. Before the mountain. Don't worry, I can't go back to that either. I really want us to work together from now on. I believe you. But I'm still nervous. <laughs> Madeline here is baking us a pie with all of the strawberries she's been collecting. Oh, that's wonderful, Miss Madeline. I haven't had strawberry pie since I was a kid. This is gonna be amazing. Don't get your hopes up, she's not much of a baker. You also said I wasn't much of a mountain climber. True. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on! You want me to sit there and watch you cook? 
You're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. Wish me luck. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? Oh no. Okay, I gotta jump, I gotta jump. Hi, hi! Hi! <laughs> hey, look who's here! Hello! Uh, there she, there she is. There, there, there. <laughs> uh, there, there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. I just got home. Yay. Come here. Mm. Yes, we're <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, uh, this one is clearly impossible. Oh, you say, sir, but let me, let me regale you with my skills. Ignore that. Two dashes now. Leroy a Jenkins, Madeline, and Madeline. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, you just went in. <laughs> no, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. <laughs> uh, it's that last bit that's tripping me up. Oh, the power just went out where you're at, Headbot? I'm sorry. Need a buttload of patience, but we got this. 
Granny! Hey there, kiddo! It's so great to see you. I don't know what to do without you. But you aren't real. This is just a dream. So what? I didn't stop you from coming all this way. You finally found me! And now you care that it's just a dream. Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. I'm sorry that I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Hey, hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm dead! Funerals are all for... Funerals are for all you suckers stuck living without me. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much, and I really miss you. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going like nothing happened? It's like you weren't gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> 